Welcome to the 2019 Bell Game Highlight Commentary. And today, there are Pussycat Wildcats. Who let the Oompa Loompa out of the fucking cage? And he's gonna go all the way in for a brawly touchdown. Yeah! We didn't beat Town Boys. We gonna beat Sancho for the first time in two years. Yeah! Hey coach, you guys scored on the first play of your guys' first drive. It's like you guys are gonna use this for momentum, right coach? So after the Grey Matter Spartans would punt back to Brawley, they would hand it off to the Oompa Loompa and he'd get stuffed on the line of scrimmage. On the very next play, the Pussycats would toss it to number 22. He'd go up for the sweep and get the first down for the Pussycats. Oh baby, here come them B-Town boys, number 13 would call his own number and take it, the freshman would get stopped and get stripped by Angel the Punisher, now by the Spartan, take it in for a Grey Matter Spartan touchdown! After a very unsuccessful brawly drive that ultimately took time off the clock and it was very boring to watch, they are going to pump back to your Grey Matter Spartans, and they do, and it's going to be a okay punt, and it's going to be fielded at the 48-yard line. Here come your Grey Matter Spartans. Daniel Money Osuna sets a man in motion. He'd snap the ball, handoff fake, throws it to Fernando Morales for a first down, Spartans. Oh baby, next play, Nero, money, as soon as would set a man in motion, snaps the ball, hands it off to that man in motion, he go up, he goes out to the left, he says, get your fucking asses off of me, pussy. Number 12, what are you doing? You're acting like he just didn't fucking baptize you. He said in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit, sit your fucking ass down. On the very next play, your great matter. Baby Blues Spartans would look to snap the ball, hand it off to Carlos Gomez to get a minimal gain of one or two. On the next play, third and about three yards near Money Osuna would hand it off to Angel Nova Esparza. He'd get the gain of three plus yards, around five or six yards for a first down Grey Matter Baby Blue Spartans. Same formation near money. Osuna would hand it off to Angel Neva Esparza again, and Neva Esparza would still get a gain of about six yards. I mean, Brawly, it's the same formation, and y'all still can't stop him. Look at this man, and not even the Oompa Loompa can take him down. I mean, it's the same formation. That's not like surprise, motherfucker. De Niro, money. Osuna would throw it to Brian Martin for a baby blue gray matter Spartan TD. I mean, coach, you still got a whole game left to play, right, coach? I mean, it is only still the first quarter and you're down by seven. It is now the second quarter. The Pussycats would send this Oompa Loompa in motion. God damn, he'd get clogged by Jonathan Med Medina. So now the Bali Pussycats would be set to punt. It's going to be pumped, but it's kind of blocked. And it'd be a bad punt. It's going to be down at the, I want to say, 47-yard line on Brawley's side. On the arm suing baby blue, gray matter, Spartan drive, you know, money, Osuna was not the ball roll out toward his left, look down, some pressure, he's gonna take the ball himself for a gain of about four or five yards. Uh, on the next play, you know, money, Osuna was at a man in motion, look, snaps the ball, looks towards his right, throws for that man, Marcus Moore, he's gonna get a good block up front, he's gonna get a gain of a first down, and number 12, get your hands off of me, I would have smacked you if I still had the shoulder pads on. Here we go, baby, the baby blue gray matter Spartans, your money, as soon as we hand it off to Carlos Gomez, and he'd find a wide open hole, more wide open than Kim Kardashian's pussy. So after a flag and a sack. There'd be pushed back, baby blue sports zero money. Also, now would find Fernando Morales for an amazing throw and catch. Fernando, you have made up for that drop pass against Southwest. The baby blue gray matter Spartans are in the red zone. Rosetta Stone, motherfucker, and they would pound the ball in with Angel the Punisher. Nava Esparza touchdown, baby blue gray matter Spartans to go up 
21-7. Again, the Pussycats would not do anything with their possession of the ball, so they'd punt it. And that'd be a pretty bad pump, but without bounds, that makes it a 20-yard punt. Second and ten to near many ocean was at a man in motion, handed it off to that man in motion, and he'd go up the field for a gain of about three to two to three yards. Ah. On the next play, Nero Money Osuna would take the snap, drop back, look left, throw for the wide open receiver for the first down due to forward progress. A lot of people were booing this call, but because of forward progress, it is a first down. You Nimrods. Nero Money Osuna was at a man in motion, snapped the ball, handed it off to Carlos Gomez, and Carlos Gomez would get a gain of about seven on the ground. On the ensuing play, De Niro Money Osuna will take the snap, roll out to his right, look down the field, find his man Juanito Dominguez on the sideline for what was an amazing catch. What in the goddamn tornation is that? Brawly Wildcat Nation? The people under that shit can't even fucking see the game! On the ensuing play, De Niro Money Osuna would drop back, look to his right, throw it to Michael Sullivan, but that would be a P.I. That would be 15 for your mistakes, you big dummy. After a few incomplete passes and one more P.I. on the Brawly Wildcats, your baby blue gray matter Spartans would set up for the field goal and the kick would be good. Your baby blue gray matter Spartans go up 24 to 7 at half. Hey, it's okay, coach. You guys still have a whole half to play. You guys are going to come back, right, coach? Welcome to the third quarter of your 76th annual Bell Game. Nero Money Osuna would snap the ball, hand it off to Carlos Gomez. Carlos Gomez would break free and he would run and run and keep running. Here comes the Oompa Loompa. Oh, he's going to get clogged by Fernando Morales. And Carlos Gomez is going to get brought down at the 15 yard line. Two plays later, the baby blue gray matter Spartans would snap the ball and Angel the Punisher Nava Esparza would fall into the end zone to make it 31 to 7. Oh baby, here come the B Town boys. The freshman would look to his left, throw it for number 42. 42 would get a good gain of about one, maybe. On the very next play, the freshman would snap the ball, take it back, look towards his right, goes, but he's gonna get sacked in the backfield. Damn, B-Town boys are getting ready to punt the ball back to the baby blue Spartans. And they're going to punt and be a, about like a 15-yard punt. Here comes the bu 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 butterfingers Whitey Dominguez. How could you fumble that? But luckily, they recovered the ball. The ball would be taken up 15 yards because Brawley couldn't sustain themselves and take the ass whooping like a real sportsman like team. 15 for your mistakes, you big dummy! Oh, here they come again in that same formation. You guys can surely stop them, right, Brawley? My goodness gracious, they're still running the ball all over you guys in that same damn formation! It's the same formation. Here comes Angel Nava Esparza. He says, fuck off me, pussy. I baptize you in the name of the Father. I baptize you in the name of the Son. And I baptize you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Hey, it's that same formation. You guys can surely stop them right now. Let them get the first down. Oh, they got the first down. Baby blue, gray matters, pardons. First and ten in the red zone. Rosetta Stone, motherfucker. Dinero Money Osuna would be brought down by number 52. And 52 is going to pretend like they're not down by 30. After a couple incomplete passes, the baby blue gray matter Spartans would punt the ball away and it'd be a little good pooch kick as it'd be at the Brawley four yard line. So it'd be first and ten for the Brawley Wildcats and they're gonna snap the ball, hand it off to the Oompa Loompa and he's gonna get stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So Brawley really hasn't been able to do much in the third quarter so they're gonna go ahead and get ready to pump back to your gray matter baby blue spartans and it'd be a good punt of about five yards with a good bounce of about s7 extra so a 12 yard punt it is 
It's that same damn formation. They're gonna hand it off to Carlos. Gomez is gonna get carried for the first down. And what are you doing, 21? What are you doing? Are you mad? Because you guys are down by 30. You can't accept the fact that you are getting your ass whooped. And what makes it worse is that the refs didn't call it on Brawly. They call it on your gray matter, baby. Spartans, when in reality, it should have been called on both, negating the motherfucking flags in the damn same formation. Hand up to Carlos Gomez. Carlos Gomez would go up field, get a gain of plus 10. He's gonna go all the way for a Spartan baby blue gray matter TD. Broly! Could you start off so well and then fall so goddamn short? And the necrophilia continues because Brawly might be dead, but they're still getting fucked. Here come the B Town Boys. The freshman QB would snap the ball. Drop back, look towards his left. He's gonna find a man. He's gonna throw it for a wide open man. You could have at least brought back life into your B Town boys, but you can't even go and catch up to a fucking floating ball. Damn, B-Town boys are getting ready to punt the ball back to your baby blue gray matter Spartans, man. Two for your mistakes! Brawly, you can shoot your gun when it's on safety! Now at this point, I'm just showing you guys the last score of the night, which was another safety. Because Brawly still doesn't learn that you cannot shoot your gun when it's on safety. So, two for your mistakes, you big dummies. And Central would go ahead and win the bell for the third year in a row. 41 to 7. Now, Brawly, you guys owe us Taco Bell from last year when you said that you were gonna beat us in last year's Bell game, and I'm still fucking hungry. And with this win, the CIF San Diego section should give Central the number four seed in San Diego in Division 3, right? Not like San Diego's gonna pull off some bullshit and I gave it to Central, right? Ooh. What the fuck?